and welcome to a new LT thrifting video. Thank you for watching this one. Hello. Libby here today. So this is a challenge video that I filmed ages ago. I started filming this. You didn't Before know. Before lockdown 2.0. Yeah, no, I had no idea. Yeah, so we're in lockdown 2.0. Um, so we can't go out and thrifting. So we're going to finish this video. In short, the, the basic challenge is it's a 30 day challenge where I had two days at the start of the 30 days to buy stock. Um, get all the photos, get them ready, and then see how many items we could sell within 30 days. So it's a good sort of mm. challenge to show if you were just starting out on Depop. Yeah. You know, if you were just to go out for a couple of days and you're trying to, and you just gave yourself a month to see if it's for you, you know, what you can sort of sell and how quick things sell. So we're going to get into the video, aren't we? Cool. I'm about to head out on day one of thrifting or looking around. So today I'm going to drive out to a town. I'm feeling a bit rough today, as you can probably hear in my voice. But we're going to drive out. Um, if that's quick, if I'm around there quite quickly, then I'm hoping to go around another town this afternoon. If that, if there's quite a lot there this morning, then I'll probably just do that for today. Um, and then maybe wash and sort the clothes when I get back. So we'll go out now and see what we can find. Okay, so I'm back home now. Um, it's been a really impressive day to be fair. I think the last time I went to all the shops I went to today, I only picked up like two or three things and we've picked up quite a bit. I'm gonna show you now. So this is what I've picked up today. So one, two bags and a big pile of things. Obviously you can see some of the bits there, but I'm gonna lay them out now so that you can get a proper look. So this is how good today has been. I promise you it's not always like this, but 10 items in total. total. Let's go through as quick as we can. So Toronto Blue Jays baseball tee. This is mine and Libby's favourite baseball team. So this is definitely going to be staying in the personal collection, I think. Um, then we move on to a really cool vintage Adidas fleece. This was the most expensive item of the day. And there is a problem with the zips. All the original plastic parts have broken off. So remove the rest of them. So that's a shame. But we're coming on into winter, autumn sort of time. So fleeces are going to be really popular. Then we've got... A Nike Court embroidered logo there. I think this is original dark grey sort of black tag. So mid 2000s dry fit shorts, men's size medium. Obviously we're coming out of the time for shorts. So it may be a bit late for these. But if these don't sell, I'm sure I'll be keeping these ones. And then a great item to be buying for again, autumn, winter time. Helly Hansen coat. Um, this is on the, I think these are sort of mid 2000s tags. And you've got it embroidered on the neck there. A bit grubby, but we'll give it a quick sort of wash um, or a scrub there. So really, really nice find. They're the four items I found in the town I went to. Then on my way back home, I stopped off at a charity shop that's been quite good for me recently. And we've got a mid-2000s essential. I think it's, I think this is blue, not, not black, but dark blue. Um, just an essential Adidas hoodie there. Nice little find. <laughs> And then with that, there were quite a few similar hoodies, but these were the two I thought were the best. Um, Nike one there, embroidered on the chest, embroidered on the hood. It's the full length hood. You can see the zip goes all the way up. On the lighter grey tags, which I think is early 2000s, and is branded with Air Max 360. So I'm not a Nike head. I don't know all the Air Max models, um, but I don't know if that adds value or takes value away. No idea. But just in general, a really cool Nike hoodie there. And then the final item I got from that shop was this uh, New York Fire Department. It's their official merchandise. I think it's 2006. Yeah, there you go there. So this might be a really popular item um, that just flies off. Or it might be the sort of thing that no one's interested in and sticks around. So we'll see how this item performs. Then I got home, had a bit of lunch. And then walked around the corner to a couple of shops that are near me. And I was really, really surprised with what I found. 
really cool vintage hard rock cafe you can see the old tag there made in australia the sydney tea purple based with really bright neon style colors um i'm gonna probably sell it but part of me really wants to keep it obviously the only thing is because it's quite old you can see it's got a fair bit of wear on the neck there but hopefully that will wash out mostly and then there's also another hard rock tea this one from acapulco um i don't know why i said that's so weird but again on the old sort of vintage tag there i think it's made in mexico yeah we'll see they're made in mexico so i'm assuming they're probably from the same person and then the final item is this um polo shirt with this jamaica embroidery on an old tag there i think it's made in china but it still looks a really cool vintage item it's a shame this is on like a beige polo shirt um and instead of being on like a really nice vintage crew neck but i still think it's a really cool item um with that embroidery there well i'm properly out of breath after going through all of those items there as quick as i could so um at the end of today we spent the initial budget so in the intro i said i'm going to try and spend no more than 30 pounds today we spent exactly 30 pounds and we still have a whole nother day of thrifting to go so the items we did buy were grey 1999 Rugby World Cup polo shirt and also a full zip gap red fleece which looked really good for the time of year, really comfy jumper. Now we do wash most of our items, obviously at the moment it's a good idea to do that, but I'd say the number one rule is definitely wash before you sell and not after you sell an item and you'll see why later in the video. Obviously you see me here doing some wonderful modelling, usually Libby would help me and we'd just do this on the phone, but Libby's working that day so I was on my own and I just used a self timer setting on a camera and using a plain background it's easier for us to edit the pictures. Then again, here you see plain background using natural light, taking the photos outside, trying to get the best lighting. Like shots have sold. That's the first item that we have sold of everything. So it's been a week and a half since I bought everything. It's been a week since everything was listed. And they've literally just sold us, passing up some other orders. Um, and someone literally just bought the night shorts. So <laughs> instead of eating breakfast um, before I go to work, I've literally just parceled them up. Um, so it's taken quite a while within that time we've still I think we've sold like seven seven other things which is none of the things we bought for this video so finally week and a half in first item is sold so obviously you've seen everything um, put all the clips in there you saw everything we got so in total we bought 11 items at a cost of £38.50 so it worked out at £3.50 an item and after the 30 days, how many items did we sell, Libby? We sold three. Three, yeah. Three. Just, just three at the 11. Three. Which, which doesn't seem great, does it? No. Uh, so the first item we sold were the Nike shorts, the, the navy shorts. Obviously, September, it was right at the end of the short season. So I'm happy that they sold, and unsurprisingly, yeah. they were the first one. So the next item that sold was the black Helly Hansen coat. But do you remember what happened in when that when we washed that item? Yeah. Yeah. So as you will, I'm going to put a clip in now, and this is why it's so important that you wash your items before you list them yeah. and not after you sell them. All of the waterproof lining inside the coat started falling apart and it wasn't just good. yeah, it just crumbled apart, didn't it? So mm -hmm. instead of usually that being the twenty twenty five pound coat, um, I think we ended up selling it for about fourteen, twelve, fourteen pounds. Yeah. But it did sell. And the last item that sold within the 30 days was the Nike Air Max hoodie. Um, that was quite a cool item. Yeah, so that was quite a unique one. Obviously Nike sells well, doesn't it? Yeah. Lots of people buy Nike. Lots of people like a bit um, of retro Nike as well. Yeah, retro Nike, that's it. The grey tag, so it was nice. So in total, those three items selling after the costs and fees, um, obviously of postage and Depop, it came to £34.00. And one p, one whole p. Well, for three items, I don't. Th I think that's quite good. No, that's not bad. So it's a total. I mean, on average, it's just over ten pounds yeah. an item after fees. Uh, but obviously, you'll figure out that didn't quite cover the cost of all eleven items. But it very nearly did. Yeah. So it's selling three items has nearly covered the cost of buying eleven items in total. Well, the good pretty... news does not stop there. It doesn't. Why does it not stop there, Libby? Because we have sold other items. We have. In that time period that were not bought in your lovely secret challenge. Yes. Um, we've had a bit of a boom in sales, I'd say. We did. We have recently, and that was a really good 30 days for us. Yeah. Because um, in total, we sold 
19 items excluding the ones in this video within yeah. that 30 day period i mean add on those three items that's 22 items sold not not far off an item a day no um out of those 11 items another three have sold it was af just after the 30 day period but within 45 days um so we sold the beige or colored jamaica polo shirts <laughs> yeah that was odd funky. Item, that. um then i remember when we we got when I got the bundle, we got a fire department New York, New York fire department yeah. t-shirt. Um, I didn't think it would sell that well or sell at all. Um, it did sell, but it, had, it was super cheap. I think I ended up doing like £7 all in on that. So I wouldn't advise sort of buying something mm -hmm. like that. And then the, the last item we sold was the um, Navy Adidas hoodie. Again, sold that quite cheap. I mean, Adidas is a tricky brand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it all depends on the individual item, yeah, like, not the brand. Yeah, it's not like Nike where it's very strong and you can pretty much sell anything that was Nike. Adidas, if it's quite basic, if it's like an essential item, you're not going to get a lot of money for it. You need more standout pieces. Yeah, that's Adidas. where like, if, if you're going to depend on Adidas, you, you're looking for those sort of grail, yeah. you know, or rare items. And I think when you get those items that are like grails mm. and you sell them within a day, minutes, hours, um, your shop becomes so much more visible, you get on a bit of a run and you know, items that you've had listed for a while they start to go as well yeah. and it's i think it's really important to like spread your postings out um because once you get yourself on a run then the sales just keep coming yeah. spread your postings out spread them spread them good put them like butter <laughs> <laughs> so in total the 30 day challenge it wasn't very impressive we didn't even make enough within the 30 days to cover <laughs> the cost of what we bought um but obviously over that time, in total, out of those 11 items, six have sold, making just over £50, which is, and that's um, that's with all the Depop fees and postage costs and whatever taken away. So it's not a bad total, no, is it? Not. And it's shown that obviously if, you, if you're if getting into Depop to start with, within a couple of months you can put £30 in, sell half your items and you'll be £20 up in profit, yeah. which isn't amazing, but if you imagine you do that every month in a year, you know, it's it's a good little, yeah. little good little side project. Definitely. You know, and that was just off of one bundle. Obviously, you'd be buying items throughout the month, mm -hmm. usually. You know, and that's when you get around twenty sales a month. Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Um, and we enjoyed we enjoyed doing this video, didn't we? Yeah. So hopefully there'll be another one coming soon. And thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>